Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Here in front of us is the new Audi Q2 facelift. So just a little bit of refresh, gonna check it out. So here's the key, still uh, old school, uh, high quality made, but maybe a little bit outdated. Uh, lock, unlock, unlock the cargo space. You have a 3D here for the lock so you can differentiate it. And you have a physical key. So 2021. Um, this is when we unlock the car. Uh, what is new? Well, you come a little bit closer. You can see the new front bumper and the new, uh, these are matrix LED lights. So very nice with the dynamic turn signals. So it's nice you get a little bit chrome. Um, actually, it looks almost like an S-Line package, but it's not. You get this uh, shiny bumper. Uh, on the side as well and the skirt so it looks a little bit sportish uh, for parking sensors are standard on the front nicely uh, masked we have the radar here uh, Audi badge uh, so the bumper differentiates depending on the package so here's another look now let's check this spec so EBS white color black interior this is the 35 TFSI with 150 horsepower and um, here are some extra options 17 inch alloys Audi virtual cockpit plus and spare tire so this is the price in Croatia I'm gonna type in the euros so you still get the uh, camera for lane assist rain and light sensor you also have one sensor in the mi middle mirror for the incoming traffic so still the same design just a little refresh here's the car from the side now nice 17 inch alloys so i can find the spec so here it is 215 55 r17 that's the dimension A uh, new side mirror, just like on the new A3. Uh, little turn signal on the side here, still facing the driver. You have physical blind spot inside the mirror as well. No puddle light, but you have this nice wind deflector for less air noise from the side mirror. Coming to the end of the car. Very elegant uh, also rear bumper is a little bit changed and I think it looks pretty good to be honest because this is not an s-line package it does look a little bit sporty and then we have the new same design but a little bit changed LED lights they really look nice um, this one doesn't have dynamic at least it's not going like that it's just flashing you're gonna see that uh, in a moment so let me just use the key so you can see there it is like a dynamic but it's kind of a little bit different if i remember the 435 let's open the boot 405 liters if i'm not mistaken so you might think oh it's shallow but no this is almost like a flat bottom and then if you want you can lower and have more space so we have more well, space on the side here to the point there in here and then we have a grocery hook here so this is very nice i'm going to show you in a moment what does that what that does uh, excuse me and then led white light very nice detail also same here seats knock down as you can see 40 60 with no middle opening and then if you want to take this up, arch on the top, it's here, so it stops, so you can access your spare wheel, which was an extra option. But if you want more space, you take this out, a little bit like that, it's kind of difficult with one hand, but there you go, you can have a lot more cargo space. So now we have like extra five, and then almost eight fingers of height so that's pretty nice and on the top this is a manual opening closing 
can just grab here and over here. I think there's an emergency triangle beneath this. Of course, LED license plates and back and camera 180 degrees fisheye lens. I like the stop light, how it's nicely integrated. These are all Audi finished touches, so right here. So petrol, there's recommended fuel. Now this contrasting is not in black, it's actually gray. As you can see here, this is black. So this is a bit grayed out. I like it because it follows the contour of the lights, kind of connects the rear looks a very elegant so um, let's just go to the other side and jump inside so still very good high quality opening and closing sound we all like from German cars now those could open a little bit wider but I think this is still enough to get a child seat on the back you have here uh, these covers that are kind of hard to remove with one finger. Whoops. There you go. Um, you can remove it. Then you can lose these easily, but uh, it's not a big deal. Now, on the back, hard plastic, but Audi hard plastic with high uh, level of finish. It looks like a leather, and this is all high quality, very robust long-lasting this is soft so where you touch and the rest is more of a hard plastic even this is plastic not eight aluminium uh, power windows uh, no carpeting nice big speaker and uh, the seats are big and cloth uh, they're very comfortable they have a lot of padding so uh, very simple base of course you can always option half leather combo or full leather with Alcantara um, so yeah so those are the seats now let's hop inside so I'm just gonna leave the keys on the front so they're not in the way in my pocket so plenty room for my feet for knees just it's a fit it's not tight it is but like it fits so uh, I was sitting on the front, so I adjusted the seat. I'm two meters tall, 6.6 .6 feet. Um, so yeah, I think, let's see the closing sound. So very good soundproof. You can see two USB-C chargers, uh, no AC vents for the rear passengers, uh, tall transmission tunnel. So I wouldn't fit a third person on the back. There's a nice coffee here, but it's a little bit narrow in case. So only maybe for a short journey. Nice view of the on the back, big speaker here. And then we have long windows, not too tall, but still good enough to see if you need to turn and see or check your blind spot. So on the top, still physical lights, LED, of course. And what is nice is that you have this space, look at this, for your head. So, so two meters tall, I'm hitting with my head. But if I was an average person, I would have plenty of space. So, um, this is the front look. So not a lot has changed. You still have this, you can adjust the height for the seat belt, on the grocery hook on the B pillar. And uh, you have these only on the front. I like how they slowly close, but nothing on the back for some reason. So once again, it's like a little rattle sound perhaps. I'm not a huge fan of that, but maybe because of the sh cabin shape. Although, seals are very good. High quality standards in Audi. And then if you want to lock the rear, you just push it here and turn it. You can see like a, a lock here for the kids so they can open from the um, co-passenger side. And what's really nice is the doors go all the way down. So when you're cleaning the car, there won't be uh, a lot of water here uh, left. Of course, um, this is cloth, so no pocket for some reason. Hmm. Okay. 
this is like the base entry model so should probably advise you to go for the q3 uh front doors open wider seals seem to be good and then also hard on the front uh, this is flashes red when the car is locked you have the lock unlock button this feels good you know hard robust long lasting i like the fact you can lock the rear for the kids uh rear windows and i believe it locks the doors as well but i'm not 100 percent sure and then you have all power windows folding and heating push to the right the right mirror dips in reverse a uh, nice big speaker on the bottom now you have here like a hump for the bottle so it doesn't move around you have also your reflective vest here it does go inside a bit but no carpeting unfortunately nice aluminium doorstep now manual seats this is for up and down but a lumbar support so very nice electronically and you push this up and slide back and forward this is for the tilt again this is for the lumbar lumbar supports are very good uh small bolsters a little bit of bigger here these are the base textile seats and still manual switch so you just just leave it on automatic always this is your position uh lights on this is off but just leave it on auto especially at night you don't want to drive with your uh, position lights only and then this is the front and rear fog and this little guy you press it you can uh, move it for the brightness of of this and on the climate control and the rest of the buttons so let's hop in and pop the hood later so i want to say good closing sound but it's like a little bit rattle i mean it's a good soundproof don't get me wrong but it's a little bit kind of rattly so i'm gonna switch to my white lens so a nice look and still the same cockpit so zooming back in um so steering wheel first nice and soft leather this is three spoke round so it's a nice feeling nice black stitching and i like this horn it's very minimalist like how this is high quality made buttons phone calls voice commands navigation favorite the asterisk and then for the radio stations for the volume and press to mute uh view uh change menus go back up and down in the menu and okay now you still have here standard light controls and turn signals uh cruise control and your wipers on the right now this is the digital cockpit plus it still has this uh plastic protection and reset trip on the bottom you have temperature and uh on the right fuel level we're gonna turn it on in the moment on the top this is all soft have a nice speaker over there still a small screen did that kind of maybe increased maybe an inch but it's really not that big and the infotainment is still the same so not a huge refresh uh, still you get the same uh, air vents you can adjust and the speaker in the eight pillars but maybe they've changed this material a little bit this is like some sort of um imitation of i don't know carbon fiber pattern in silver nice audi logo here and then hard on the bottom everything but it's not wig jiggling wiggling whatever you call it. uh so it's pretty robust uh usb a charger in 2021 12 volt as well uh well nice cubby here and then you have two cup holders this is maybe for your coins and you're for audi key so if you have the key but it's not wireless if you have a wireless you put it here but since it has a physical 
you have to put it in there. So that's it. Uh, this is a new knob for the automatic. There's a button here and looks very elegant, hard quality made, brushed aluminum, spark reverse neutral drive, and the Tronic. Uh, and the Q2 is the only Audi with the MMI wheel still. And you have a navigation, phone, radio, media, sides, menu, navigation, electronic parking brake, and auto hold. That is very nice. You do still have an auto hold in this model. It didn't exclude that. And very nice. Still armrest that extends. Fortunately, still cloth. Most of the cars put leather now, even in the cloth combo. Wireless charging. USB, uh, second USB A and aux. Most cars don't have that anymore. And another look of the seats, the fabric. So, you yeah, not to forget the glove compartment that's slowly opening. Now, there's no carpeting in here. You have a pen holder, business card holder, decent sword space, but you have still SD card two slots and navigation, uh, excuse me, for the CD DVD player. So most cars don't have that feature anymore. It's gone. But if you want it for some reason, you can get the Q2 refresh. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And to move to the top, you have a nice baseless uh, frameless mirror. This is all still the same. Um, LED lights. So it's pretty much... Uh, no change there. Same here. You can see here the document holder, LED lights, and then this uh, doesn't extend at all. So you have this area shining uh, to you. Now, so headspace, sorry. Um, headspace, plenty of space, so no worries there. So Time to turn this on and just an overview around you. You can see the hood, uh, good overview on the back, on the sides. Uh, basically, you know, this is why people take SUVs. This is more of a compact SUV, but uh, you feel a little bit safer. Um, of course, this is the same layout, a whole dash, auto off, parking sensors, hazards, um, auto uh, traction off. And you can turn off or on the screen and the climate control is still the same. Very elegant. Nice clicks. So I like that. Okay, starter up. Got a lot of test lights on the top. I turn off. Uh, besides the parking brake and engine test light. No fuel, we know. Okay, so you can see everything illuminates white besides the lights. Very elegant. And I like the climate. This is probably one of the most elegant climate controls. And I like the fact that you still have this. So I'm not a huge fan of the touch climates. Um, and not to forget, you get this MMI for the sound. And you can press it to mute to turn on or off the MMI. So something I would probably get is a digital cockpit plus. So here we go have all this information pretty nice and then you can switch here uh, to radio stations phone if you have connected your phone and then you can change the view you can see the car here and you can see like better uh, so I like the fact like this is like fuel pump on the side and then you have also phone if you connect a lot of context uh, pictures of your context stuff like that you can press here I guess back. Um, so the navigation wasn't purchased on this car. If it was, you'd be able to see that as well. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, moving to this little screen. So higher resolution graphics, um, but you know, this one as well. So they're not flickering on the camera. That means they have a very good refresh rate. But I would say um, I'd like a new MMI here. Not sure why Q2 didn't get it. So again, if you're new, you have this wheel, you can press it. You have this information. Uh, press this guy. 
or for the back and then you can have a thin dab radio so if we are on the radio you push up and then you get inside the radio you can press you can have stations uh you can go back you can have digital radio fm am fm dab and let me see here let's check the, the commercials the mute uh, there's also a back button and there is the um menu so this is the home menu so higher resolution graphics looks a lot better and you can use this wheel to check car settings so i'm just gonna quickly go through this uh you can check those and then you can come back driver assists so you can check here this is very nice to use uh, because it's fast it's very that easy to use while you're driving it was one of the best systems but everything is migrating to um Oh, I like this animations. Look at this service <laughs> intervals. It's pretty cool. Um, so this is not necessarily bad. Like you're not getting all the cool stuff, but you are getting something that is probably more practical. Uh, so I like the fact here you can you can with the wheel change all of this. So that's pretty cool. Phone. So um, announcements and a reminder so speech dialogue control the volume stuff parking aids Let's see that one so you can really control a lot of things here sorry for that oh come on stop the radio keeps turning on i thought i'd mute it um so here we go uh okay <laughs> i apologize um yeah it's hard while you're looking at the camera and the screen and then uh you're using the mmi without looking at it um but here's the media so uh you can have the sources and sound settings like there's multiple menus for sound usually phone connection uh via bluetooth audi smartphone interface uh, you can use android auto and apple carplay with a usb she was maybe wireless uh, but still it's nice to have it now you can connect it so the first generation didn't have that and then you can connect all uh, customers all other stuff like languages and stuff like that so uh, external audio player on the bottom is aux uh, but yeah that's pretty much it um, so again you have shortcuts here for the media uh, a navigation more than purchase as you can see and that's your phone radio so okay so I want to show you the radio so let's find another station the speakers. so I can't really taste the speakers too long but the sound is good and the bass is pretty good some these are the bass speakers and it's pretty solid to be honest so wouldn't expect less from audi and uh again if you're really new to this it's that easy to zone climate control this is ac on this is off so this is just air recirculation you can press here to auto uh, and then you can turn the rear defrost front below max below uh close rear air recirculation direction and you can push to turn it off or I think there was like you can control fan speed here and there was something I can't really remember now uh, to synchronize but I just forgot at the moment to be honest and that's it that's pretty much it uh, not a lot of change but it is a nice for someone who likes physical controls and a lot of buttons um, and doesn't want to like doesn't want it too much change i think this refresh isn't bad but for people who are using for the latest technology looking for the latest technology we'll probably be looking at uh, something different i'm just going to leave the lights on and jump outside just to show you the lights so they're very elegant so very nice looking of course 
and then to the front. Of course, the fog lights are integrated in the main light cluster. But we're gonna turn it off and pop the hood. So, opening the hood, it's usually towards the middle, push it to the left. And voila, I'm just gonna back up so you can see the whole car in the frame. So, petrol, two liter, four, four cylinder, if I'm not mistaken, on top of my head. And you got this nice stamp insulation, although it's a petrol. And it's a nice rubber seal so less dust comes inside the engine bay. Here's your washer fluid. The rest you can leave to the mechanics. And I like the fact that you have a gut strap so it's that easy to open it and close it. Just push it down. Close it perfectly. So that was it. Tell me in the comments below how you like the refresh. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Stay safe at home and on the road. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. It's not over. So if you're in Croatia and you're looking for a new Q2 potentially, now is not a bad time. Why? Because if you buy the car, you get a free Audi electric scooter. You can call it like that. Um, so it looks pretty good. Not really sure what's the range on this, but I think it's probably like maybe five, 10 kilometers, maybe more, I don't know, but it looks really nice, a design. Um, I know these usually go for um, quite some money, maybe price of an iPhone, something like that. So um, it's nice, you have lights on as well. You even have the little ding-dong uh, here. Oops, so very nice, you have a grip here and I guess you just press here to turn it on. Ooh, that looks fancy. So you can see that you can turn on the LED light and your battery charge here, I guess. Light off. Not really sure how do you change the, I think this is maybe like sport. I will. Then I guess this is for the, uh, for the speed, this is for the brake. I mean, to decrease, and then you have the actual brake on the top. Um, I'm not gonna drive it because I can't really with my phone. Should not drive and use your phone in general. You just hold it to turn it off. You have the little leg to park. So, uh, not bad at all. So, I think it's a nice combo. If you get a car, you get an electric scooter as well.